Just came back from a seven mile run from the marathon training and I went to go take a shower. But on my way back, I was so happy because I was so pleasantly surprised. So I know that they're gonna start on the landscaping this week, but I didn't know they were gonna move this fast. Check it out. So they already started laying the tracks out because there's supposed to be steps. Remember from the rendering, there's gonna be steps that go here, goes down a little bit, goes there, and then goes down a little bit. They already destroyed um, all of the sidewalk, which is what they're supposed to do. So that's awesome. Hey, Rick. Good morning. Okay, thank you. And then they're digging, I think, tracks for probably like sprinklers and stuff. There's just all kinds of pile of gravel. The straight up construction site in the front yard. They even cut a big old hole over there. This is so cool. Look at all this. Ooh. The front yard is coming together. By summertime, we should be able to have pool parties. It's, it's so exciting. So, Ma Berpatino. Yes, Papa Potato. <laughs> Did you see all the construction in the front? Yes, baby. I'm home like all day. So but did I've you seen... see them cut that big old hole on the side? No, I heard it though. Oh, I you heard it this them. morning? I didn't see them do it, but I heard them, yeah. I thought that was going like to take... at 7 a.m. Yeah, that's what I like about them. They come at, at like 6.40, 6.50. Mm -hmm. On my way out, I already saw them. And I'm like, I love people that show up early because they just can't wait to get to work. And they're so passionate about it and then so um when i came back from the run and i saw that they already cut a hole in the wall it blew my mind because i thought that would take like a whole day to cut a hole through brick no really yeah why would it take a whole day but are you excited to see our front yard starting yeah. to come together i love that it's this mess right now because i'm like yes it gets ugly before it gets beautiful oh my god am i like a fucking philosopher i this think morning? you are yeah, it has to be a mess before it gets beautiful, y'all. Damn, I'm a I'm a miracle and you're a philosopher. Oh, so you're not God anymore. I never was God, I said. I said you I'm, said I'm God. No, you called me a miracle. Yes, and, and then, then you're you... like, oh, so I'm God. No. You want me to... Oh, my... Let me pull up. You want to listen to our own podcast? Yeah. <laughs> That's watch so us weird. Get, watch us get a strike. I know. <laughs> we, we... They we, flag ourselves or somehow. Yeah, because yeah, like for like the last... Uh, I think six months we've been coming home to pretty much, in my opinion, an incomplete home because you just see dirt, dirt in the front, dirt in the back. Can't really take people out. And when I go take out the trash, it's just dirt, construction everywhere. So I feel like I'm living at a construction site, incomplete home. So even the promise, sorry, I have allergies. Even the promise of like, we're about to live in a complete home makes me so happy because. Oh, it's still not, does, it still doesn't feel like a home to you? Not a completed home. So there's home, then there's complete home. Yeah, he didn't hear. And then completed home. He said he'd never lived in a home before. I uh, never did. You know, you know how bad my upbringing was. You know. But I'm like, motherfucker, we had a house before this together with Taika. That was a home. I know that he was goes, a home. And he goes, yeah, but I never had one before. But I'm, I like you meant before that. But I was like, bro, yeah. you completely negated 500 in Kanto Lane. Yeah, that was the old address. No, no, you, you. I'm not negating that. I know. I'm just talking about before that. I know when I was that's when my this first house, home that's when my first home started I know but then when I was fixing this house you know what I'm just trying to fight with you okay can you just give in can we fight why because I have makeup sex yeah. after oh fuck yeah you're I so wrong in my eye. you do yeah good hope we crash <laughs> <laughs> yeah but so we finally are about to live in a completed home and it feels so good and Tyke is gonna grow up here and oh it just makes me so happy Hey Joe, where'd Dude, you get these favorite. chocolate pretzels Thanks, from? Austria. Did you have one? Yup. I ate one earlier. It, Wait, is it, it in three? It tastes a little it's bit like a ginger, huh? Hot. It tastes Chinesey. Hey, what? Yeah. Chinesey? Have you guys tried it? In case, have you, have you, what is it? What is it? You want to try it? Do you like chocolate? Herzen Stern um, Breslin. Sarte. Why you spit all that in your luggage? Chocolate. Mm. Uh, I pressed. I'm really good at packing <laughs> log luggage. I have a case that big. Do you have one of those vacuum sealing bag things? Nope. I just roll like a motherfucker. Oh, tight. And then I have a method. So I go with clothes that I'm not going to keep anyway. Like you're going to throw it away? Yeah. Oh, what? And then I wear that. Yeah. And then I leave a trail of clothes behind. That's like every cool. hotel? Huh? That's pretty I was going to throw it away anyway. <laughs> oh. You can donate it. That's wasteful. That's what? <laughs> I hear what you're saying. What do you hear? That it's wasteful to, to donate it. Really? Versus throwing away? Yeah. yeah. How? Because all the homeless people are going to use it for drugs. They just use it uh, to score drugs. Yep. I see. And they use it to pocket the drugs. 
interesting. No, I mean like they're like really old shirts that I'm probably gonna throw away anyway. Yeah, so you just travel with it. That's pretty yeah, cool. Or like pants or whatever, and then you just slowly. And then do you buy go. new clothes once you get into a new country? Sometimes, but in most cases, I wash as I go too. So I don't like if I'm gone for three weeks, I don't bring three weeks oh, worth true, of clothes. Oh, true, true. I bring about like a week. You found a place that had laundry? Well, the hotel would do it, oh, or sick. I wash it in the sink. Oh. Or in the shower. I jump into the shower with my clothes on and I fucking soap everything. And then I wash that shit. I have a tutorial on my channel too. That's you tight. Can see that shit. And then you hang it there. And in like two days, it's fucking dry as hell. And then you just had so you just had a, car, uh, uh, a clothes wash. That's tight. Yep. Or you have friends there and then you throw it in the laundry at their house. That sounds the easiest. Me and Nikki, me and Nikki were going to the Bahamas and I, I was dressed for the Bahamas, so I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, right? Yeah. So we had a layover in New York City. Oh, fuck. And it's cold as fuck and oh, the airport's fuck. colder than shit. Right? Oh, shit. So then I go and I buy a New York, it's, it's the, the sweatshirt I got says New York on it. And then I, we go to the Bahamas and I'm there and they're like, oh, are you from New York? And, I, and then I, I sound like such a bougie rich person. I was like, oh no, I was in New York for a second. I was cold. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hated that. I was like, oh, ugh. You're not an experienced traveler, Steve. I know, right? All right, before this vlog goes any further, I have to show you how fly Ma Bear's outfit is. It's super fly. She just threw this together. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. Was that a fur coat or like a trench coat or a pea coat? No The camo idea. pants and the pink shoes that pop. Pop, 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 pop. What, oh, damn, what was that? That was a cool though. Damn, you're great at modeling. You look so good. Thank you, baby. You're the best. Why? You just, you're just you just the best. You're the best. You're the best. So what we're going to do now, it's a JK News break. We're going to go, I'm walking this way because the sun's coming this way. We're going to walk out to the front so I can snap some photos. But you guys saw it here first, behind the scenes of the JK News photo shoot during lunch break. It's not JK News, it's the Gio Antoinette photo shoot. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's during the JK News lunch break. Right, right. Yeah. Which ones do you like? Let me see. Well, you took a lot. I did. I was just snapping away. Don't wanna. That one's pretty good. Don't wanna not miss a moment. I like the ones where you have like very candid smiles. Yeah, I try. Cause you saw me making a stupid face and you started laughing. Yeah, I try. That's cute. I'm trying to uh, interact with you. That one's pretty cool. That one's yeah, pretty some cool of them might get a little bit close and they look good too. Yeah, you did a great job. I like the clouds and the sky. <laughs> do you look at the whole picture or you just look at yourself? Myself? Why would I look at the whole picture? Because I, I, I do it for the whole composition. Well, I just want myself and then I look at the rest of the picture. Oh. And then so at first it's me and then oh. I... Because I'm trying to achieve a goal. Oh, I see. So I'm not trying to do landscape photo. Oh, I'm trying to do a whole... Make sure the whole picture is good. Turn first. the camera around. Smile really big. No, smile. That's not a smile. Turn it around. Smile. Smile with your teeth. There it is. Move it in more. There it is. God damn it. Are you roasting me? Nope. You're roasting yourself. Right. Look at those. They're freaking professional. Oh, yeah. That's See? nice. That. Okay. That. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh, no. Nikki, why are you just eating veggies out of a box like that? I wasn't. I saw you just pull, uh, oh my God, like some boiled cabbage. Now. I just saw you pull some po boiled cabbage out of there. I, oh, that's what that was. I thought it was. Some, I thought oh. it was. Um, Are you vegetarian or vegan or? Something? I am pescatarian. Pescatarian? Why? Um, I don't know, cause like I don't want to eat animals, but fish don't have souls. Is it they because? Do actually, did you? Nah, they don't. No, never connected with the fish. They're good. <laughs> no. So it's not a. Uh, People have pets. No, I know those. I don't eat goldfish. I don't eat tropical fish. I just eat salmon. Is it a? It's not a health thing. Care, it's a. <laughs> it's not a health thing. It's for the a animals that you care about. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, it's both. But yeah. But I think I started because of the animal thing. I was watching a lot of documentaries, and I felt really terrible about factory farming and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't get preachy with people. That's why I don't. Yeah. Like so. I, That's and cool. Then yeah. It became more about health too because. Yeah. I cut out dairy and that helped a lot. Yeah. And um, I just. What about like, hunting? Do you care? Is your is that are you okay with no, hunting? No, I'm not. I'm, I don't. I don't care what other people do. I don't hunt, but if people hunt, like that's great. Like I don't. I think that's ethical because they're hunting for their own food. Yeah, it's not factory than farming. Raising animals to be become food. Yeah. yeah. And like the living conditions that those animals are raised in. Or like I'm, mass mass animal. Yeah, I'm, I'm for hunt hunting like people that want to hunt for food. 
Oh, yeah, she's also cool with like small farms and stuff too. Right, right, oh, yeah. Cool. Like if there's like a they're what are they they're called grass fed like yeah. they're free roaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't eat the meat because I personally just see I have too much of a connection now like between the images I've seen of like slaughter and then it being on the plate. Yeah. So personally, I can't do it, but I'm not against it for other people. That's really cool. Yeah. I like my mom. My mom's the friendliest vegetarian anyone will ever meet because you'll never know she's vegetarian yeah that's yeah I, I you would never know if i didn't like if you didn't ask me about it that's tight um but this that being said these vegetables are awful uh no that, that i would know because i didn't taste it that restaurant is awful true stricken we're not going there no more what'd you get it's stricken from my list i got curry and me and nikki get the bombest motherfucking curry the bombest. The bombest by us. And, and that's where it was yucky. Not good. Yeah, not good. The restaurants by us are really dope, though. We They're live good. in like the Studio City area. Mm. Like, there's a lot of like really good food restaurants there. Restaurants and the, yeah, they yeah. make shit good because there's so much competition. That's yeah. tight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how much Taika missed his mama. He looks so comfy on his mama. His head's all rested on his shoulder. Do you want to give Papa a hug? Okay. Nothing feels better than mama, huh? <laughs> he looks tired, dude. Look at cute little face. Look at cute little face. You can go to sleep. Dile a papa you boo boo. Merry cuckoo. Okay. He's grumpy. Oh, he grumpy guy. <laughs> okay. Merry cuckoo. <laughs> all right check it out so this is the night view of the house i'm so excited i love 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 seeing progress i hope it's not too dark but there's a whole pile of gravel don't know what it's for but i'm happy for it i see the cement mix um i see all this dirt they straight cut a big hole in my yard haven't even seen what's back there yet. Um, I'm really hungry, so I'll probably go make food. Maybe Gio will vlog what they did back there tomorrow. But look, I can see all these tracks already and what they're gonna do. And I can already see how beautiful it's gonna be. So this center part is gonna be pavers, which is like that brick pattern. And on the side, it's gonna be like the cement molding. So it'll give this this really nice look. And then we can go from here uh, you can walk over here and then this walkway will come right down here straight to the street which is awesome because uh that's where grandma parks all the time so now from her car she can walk directly into the house there's gonna be little steps that go up so instead of her having to take like this side winder away right now where she has to like walk over here and I, we're also gonna just widen the whole driveway a little bit too on both sides so Super excited. Finally get the house done. Oh, I need a burp. Oh, Fawn, come in here. Almost forgot about Fawn. Fawn! Fawny! I think Fawn was out with me because we were all saying bye to Grandma. Fawn! Come here, Fawn! Come here, Fawn. That's my Fawny. Can't believe I forgot about her. Come here. We're gonna go into the garage. Good girl, my little gazelle. Come on, let's go inside. Go inside, funny. Go. Good girl. Mobber's putting Taika to sleep because he didn't take a nap today. So he's really tired. As you can see, he's already falling asleep on Mobber's shoulder. And well, I guess it is getting kind of late too. It's actually nine. I don't know if I showed you guys this already, but this is one of my favorite, favorite go-to meals. Um, And it's so easy to make. So I have shabu shabu meat and you can just even get like ribeye or New York steak and shred it. All it is is this, and then I just boil cabbage. Like I literally just boil both of them together right here. Well, I boil the cabbage first because that takes longer because meat pretty much heats instantly. I have some old rice I just threw in there, mix it up together, and now I have a pretty much low fat, high protein, medium carb meal. You can control how much carb you want to use. I just pour ponzu sauce everywhere and I mix it up, and this is one of my favorite go-to meals, especially on this cut that I'm on, because I just need protein and carbs. I try to keep the fats low, especially Jake and he's munching on little snacks here and there. I really try to refrain from it, but 
Um, this is my go-to meal. Did I say go-to already? I'm tired. I've been using all my other words on JK News, but um, this is my go-to meal, and it only takes me like 10 minutes to make. And it's super fresh, super nutritious, cabbage. You could throw anything you want in here. Mushrooms, uh, you could put spinach. I just use this because I just want to get rid of everything that's in the fridge. But that's my dinner for tonight. So, so I'm going to eat right now while I'm by myself because no one else is here because Aubrey's pretty tired of sleep. As delicious as this looks right now, I can't let my Aubrey put Taika to sleep on her own. I miss Taika too much. I only got to see him for like an hour or two today. So I'm going to go and spy on him and see what they're doing. Hope he's not naked. There's is he naked? No. Hey, monkey. I want a fire pants. You want fire pants? You can't buy you no fire pants. What is this? Donuts? You had pajamas. a chocolate donut? He's saying pajamas. Oh. This little dude is getting so good at singing his ABCs. <laughs> Oh, you're trying to capture it? Yeah, take a scene of ABCs. No, not A, B, C, D. Oh, I think you're going to do that night. Okay, we'll do it at night. What happened? I think he doesn't really doesn't want to go to sleep. Okay, stop, monkey, stop. Hey. Hey, hey, stop crying. Sorry, I messed up. I came stop. for help, hey. but I made it worse. Why are you crying? Hey, Taika, why are you crying? Don't cry. I think he's just tired and grumpy. Yeah, he is. But you're doing it out of order, too. I'm sorry. He likes I a know. Lot that's of true. Order. He's like his papa OCD, like a mofo. He has to have it. The routine, the way it's meant to be. Maybe I can stand next to you and you could do it. I mean, it is going to be kind of. Well, I'll try to move him more that way. Okay. Oh, we have the noisemaker on. No, it's okay. I'll, oh. I'll catch it some other time. Okay. Or maybe you can turn on the, you can record the nest. Oh yeah, I'll step outside. It's so cute. He's getting really good at the ABCs actually. Okay, let's brush really, your teeth. Really, good. Let's brush your teeth. Okay, bye. Okay. Come on. Alright, you see how wild this little animal is? Okay, finally. He usually likes to mess around, but hopefully he can still hear him soon. hear that? Isn't that amazing? He's like 70%, maybe 60% there of seeing his ABCs. Yes, a lot of them are wrong. Like, but he's getting really close, but I'm so proud of him. He's only two years old. And I think all the times that we sing it to him, it's been paying off and it's super cute. But I love hearing him sing his ABCs. I messed up. I shouldn't have tried to get him to sing it out of order because he's like his papa, really, really likes routine. And there it is. We put him to sleep. Thank you guys for following me along our wonderful day and watching our awesome life known as the Bear Adventures. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.